Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, This Is The Night. Just came out on Netflix. I had a reminder set, not sure why. But it takes place in Staten Island in 1982, right after this kid sees the premiere of Rocky 3. Which is not the best Rocky. Rocky 2 is obviously the best. Then probably Rocky 4. Then Rocky 1. Then Rocky Balboa, <laughs> anyway, and somewhere in there is Rocky Three. Although it had Mr. T in it and the whole Colgan, um, who I, you know, at the time enjoyed. Anyway, this kid must be obsessed with Rocky. There's something about it. He goes on some quest um, that draws his whole family into it. So I don't know much more than that. Um, I only know Rocky Three because it came on in Netflix. It's not really on IMDb. But Frank Grillo's in it. Um, I didn't notice anybody else that I recognized right away, but. Uh, 5.3 on IMDb, but only 231 people rated it so far because it just came out. So, uh, let me get into it, find out what it's about, give you a better idea, and let you know what I think. Stick around. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. I want to do a quick check-in here. We're watching This Is The Night. We're at the 55 minute, 48 second mark. So, a little over halfway. There's 51 minutes left. Um, in addition to Frank Grillo, who's the father of the, our main character, um, he's married to Na Naomi Watts. So he's, she's the mother, and the love interest, the young love interest, is Madeline Klein from Outer Banks. I recognized her, but she has dark hair in this one, like in Outer Banks, she has lighter hair. It's like, she looks familiar. That's who it is. Um, and, and Bobby Carbondale is in it as well. So there are some people in it outside of Frank Grillo, which is pretty neat. Um, essentially, they're our main character. Um, in Staten Island, everybody's a Rocky fan, because they're all Italian-American, and they all worship him. Rocky Three comes out on this day, and so his, the, our main character, um, really idolizes Rocky and has, you know, can't wait to see, um, he, Anthony, whatever, um, you know, can't wait to see the movie with his two buddies. And it's kind of cool because his buddies are really good friends. Now they happen to get picked on, uh, they get bullied, which is unfortunate, and uh, the lead bully guy is. Um, Madeline Klein's boyfriend so he has Anthony has a little bit of a crush on her and um, you know so all that kind of stuff but the whole thing centers around going to see Rocky 3 um, and then he kind of gets himself in trouble at the movie theater because of the bullies uh, I won't go into too much detail there but uh, nobody really likes him now he's kind of you know trying to watch his own back uh, well, as he's going around and his whole now mission after the movie was to find um, his crush and wish her a happy birthday. So it's kind of like, you know, how, um, you know, you're trying to get to one place, there's a journey going on or an adventure, and he gets pulled in different directions uh, that's not getting them to the party, but he's got to get to the party on time to wish her a happy birthday. Essentially, now there's a lot more going on with Frank Grillo. Um, he's the one hosting the party, which is his dad at, like, his, uh, his catering hall. Um, his, he has an older brother who has got some things going on. So there's a lot of different, you know, subplots going on that make it make it interesting. But uh, so far so good. What I really liked, I'll share this with you. When, when they showed Rocky Three, well, they didn't show Rocky Three, but they showed everybody in the theater watching Rocky Three, and they try and and what they do is like show the emotion of everybody as they watch the film, and it's kind of neat. You think about it that way. You think about films like that when you're growing up. For me, Return of the Jedi. Um, not so much Rocky Three, but uh, you know, couldn't wait to see that, and then the emotions that I went through while seeing it, very similar. So um, there you go. It's what I got so far. So it's entertaining. I like it, and uh, seems a little long though. So let me get back to it, see where it goes from here, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Stick around. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of This Is the Night, and. Uh, it was, it was good. It, uh, um, more focus on the multiple storylines than it is just the one that I was really telling you about. The kid who went to see Rock, well, they all go see Rocky Three. Who doesn't, right? And, uh, you know, how he's going, trying to get across town to find his crush to wish her a happy birthday. That's the main plot line. But then his father, who, who owns the catering, that's the other plot line. And the mother and his brother have another little storyline that goes on it. You know, and all comes to a head at the end, <laughs> you know, in their various storylines, so, um, so, but it was good, you know, I, I think, uh, it feels like it's been done before, those kinds of things, you know, is, 
what's going to happen, and, but not all three at once, I'll say. You know, so that's a little different. Like, normally they have the, the three different plot lines that you'll see when you watch it, if you do. Um, it's three different movies. They just put them into one and create one unified movie with all those different plot lines anyway. So, um, so there you go. <laughs> um, I, and I thought, I, you know, it was good. It was a little long, it felt. Um, you know, and it's also one of those, uh, those movies where... I don't know, when bad things keep happening, like he's trying to get across town and things keep happening from him, um, you know, but then is it all going to work out in the end? Who knows? you got to wait the full movie to see that, so. Um, I thought everybody was good. I thought Frank Grillo was good. I've always liked him. And when we watched, he played a role. Um, they both had pretty good roles <coughs> and did a pretty good job, so. Uh, the acting was good. I probably, I'm in the five or six range. Um, not, I don't know, that's where I'm at, probably a six, I'd give it, oh, I'm losing the cinnamon again, sorry, so, it's on Netflix though, if you have the time, you're probably going to want to check it out, if you like, you know, movies about, you know, in the 80s and stuff like that, it's got a little nostalgia to it, I mean, really, with the Rocky piece of it, there are some other things, the way they dress, the, you know, stuff like that, not too much though, I didn't pick up on it too much, some cars, some cars from the 80s were in it. Um, but uh, there you go. That's what I got. I don't know if I was helpful at all. I apologize. I gotta go. I'm gonna choke on cinnamon. So if I think of anything else, I'll just I'll come back in and tell you what I think. Alright, stick around. Or not stick around. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's already pub.